Hi there. Today we're working on another rooftop recording mic shootout. Today we're featuring some MicTech microphones. The uh, company saw my other recent mic shootout videos and decided to send me some microphones for evaluation. So in all fairness, this is a uh, sponsored listing in that they gave me these microphones uh, so that I can do a demo. I don't place judgment on any of the microphones that I evaluate. This is going to be similar in nature to the other ones. I'm going to present the material, present the microphones, how they sound. But I do want to take just a minute to talk about these mics. This MK300 microphone is a quite affordable uh, mic choice. It, I think they're on sale right now at Sweetwater for $199. They're regularly $300. So puts them into an inexpensive microphone uh, category. This is a substantial microphone. It feels pretty hefty in the hand. It's got three pickup patterns, which to me is very important. I use figure eight a lot. I use omnidirectional a little less often, but I do use all the pickup patterns. And of course, cardioid uh, is always a good choice as well. It was me dropping the uh, stand mount as I take this thing apart. It's uh, I always take microphones apart. I want to see the insides of them. And this one has a transformer like a U87 would have or uh, many other classic microphones. In this price category, very often you get a transformerless microphone. And uh, I just found that curious when I took it apart that it's uh, pretty full featured. So um, I'll put that back together in a minute. The other uh, comes with a, a nice elastic shock mount as well as a, a hard stand mount and uh and of course carrying pouch one more note on the mk300 this microphone also features a 10 db pad and a high pass filter both very useful especially if you're using it as a close-up vocal mic uh, or on drums which we'll be doing both of those today so uh just didn't want to short any of the features the other two microphones that we're going to be evaluating are the PM10 dynamic instrument microphone, I think primarily uh, intended for and, and designed for drum use, but we'll be comparing it for a number of other sources as well. And the PM9 handheld vocal mic. I've already used this microphone on some live shows and was very happy with how it performed. Normally I'm a Beta 58 user on my own live shows. Uh, I own a bunch of them for my sound rig that I rent out. Um, and uh, this definitely has a place along with it. All right, so our shoot off uh, competitors here, so to speak. For the, for the MK300, we have two of the microphones out of my collection. This microphone is a CAD M39. They don't make this microphone anymore. It was a limited run they did for Guitar Center a million years ago. It has a continuously variable pickup pattern. It has uh, a 20 dB pad and a high pass filter. Um, it's the, basically the same microphone as the M179 that they still sell. Price competitive with the MK300, feature competitive with the MK300. I use this mic in my own studio most often as a, a floor tom mic. Uh, occasionally it'll get used for something else, but I have a lot of other condensers that are sort of more high rent. And uh, this one is one that I don't mind getting hit by a drumstick. Um, good sounding microphone. I just have a lot of other choices. And the other competitor is going to be this Aston Origin. This is the single pattern cardioid only version. Still features a high pass filter and a 10 dB pad. It has a uh, stand mount that's not adjustable. This is a little bit problematic to use this microphone. You sort of need to buy an aftermarket swivel mount to be convenient to uh, uh, to mount the microphone or a shock mount, which is not included. Um, however, uh, I like the sound of the Origin more than the multi-pattern Spirit. And I had a friend who traded me this microphone for some technical support services. I don't really use this. Um, I've considered getting a second one to maybe use on bottom Leslie cabinets or whatever else, but uh, most likely I'm going to probably end up sending this microphone off to my daughter who's in college for uh, music school right now to use for her own demo recording rig or whatever she's going to do with it. Um, good microphone, uh, quite popular, 
a little less expensive. The multi-pattern version is sort of in the same price range as the MK300, and I figured it was good to keep something close in the comparison for uh, amount of investment to get into the microphone. And this is another one that I, I quite like. If I was buying microphones in this price point now, this is one that would be on my list as well. So listen to all three of them, see what you think, because that's what this is really for. So the PM10 instrument microphone, we're gonna use this on a number of different sources. So I wanted to pick some versatile competitors to it. We're gonna compare it to a EVRE20, a little bit more expensive microphone. Okay, well, it's quite a bit more expensive, but I wanna hear how it's gonna do on kick drum versus the PM10, uh, bass cabinets, a uh, number of other things. Also the Audix D2. I might use a D4 on the kick drum. These are the mics that I have for my own live PA rig and uh, a great fair competitor in price range, feature set, sort of uh, well professionally respected live drum microphone. And that takes us to the PM9. I was recommended by Mike Tech to compare it to the Shure SM7, which I have. It's a mic that I'll use on certain singers as the preferred microphone. I also use it on a lot of live tracking sessions. Um, and uh, sometimes on snare drum. So we'll use that on snare. We'll use this on snare just to see what that does with the drum recording. Finally, we'll be comparing it to the trusty old SM57. Everybody knows what this sounds like, right? Everyone's had one of these or has a number of them currently. And uh, uh, those will be the comparative microphones for all of the sources. And as I always do with my demos, I'm going to use all of these microphones um, as a set throughout the whole production so that you can hear what their mics will do versus other choices throughout the entire mix. So every sound that you hear recorded is going to be one of these three mic sets. They're going to be blind, unidentified throughout the course of the video, mic set A, B, and C. And uh, I will have the results of what microphone is what, as well as all of the full high resolution audio files that you can download from a Dropbox link, which will be in the comments below. Free, no obligation, I don't need your info. I'm not selling anything. I'm just a recording engineer trying to spread some knowledge. I hope you enjoy the shootout and the song. Today's song is going to be an original of mine. And uh, well, here we go. A cloudy day in the sky above me. Friend says the colors are truly lovely But I'm not sure it's true They seem a hazy hue Because the one I love so far away The highway rolls on by for days and days Mind and spirit get mixed up in a haze I'm not sure what to do Should I be thinking of you As the miles keep on rolling by If you want me, please just tell me To me, I count the minutes passing one by one. I try to think of times when all was fun. I sleep away the days, I work when everybody plays. I didn't know.
to me I didn't want my heart spread out so thin Halfway across the country in places I have been But I can't stop it now You got to me somehow Another morning and it's back on about wraps it up for this one uh i am going to offer a little bit of a summary from what i heard on this one which is there is startlingly small differences in these microphones it really comes down for recording not so much to the specific tool that you choose but what you're going to do with it remember to trust your ears make the best music that you can make with whatever gear that you have and thanks a lot to mike tech microphones for sending me these I'm going to keep them in my arsenal and uh, live with them and see what more use I can put them to. I think they're a really great choice, and uh, I'm sure whatever you're using is also a really great choice right now. So go out there and make some great music. If you enjoyed this video, share it with your friends, like, subscribe, hit those buttons. You know what to do. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.